Hello. How's it going? Hello everybody and welcome to my 9,000 subscriber special. Oh well, I hope this is the 9,000 subscriber special by the time this is released. I hope. I originally didn't even want this to be a 9,000 subscriber special. I didn't even plan to have a special. But you know what? It's kind of traditional at this point. Every 1,000 subscribers, I do a special kind of video. So we're going to continue out. So today, I have with me a big box. Now what's in this box? Oh, you're about to find out. But first, we're going to have to open it. So. Yeah, uh, this is, uh, I'm so excited to actually open this, um, I really like that, I literally waited all day to open this, so let me just wait till I open this, and then, uh, we'll get to the meaty stuff. So how are we all doing today? You doing good? You doing good? Yeah, uh, I hope you're doing good. As you can see, uh, the theme with this video, I think you can tell what it's about to be. Uh, yeah, I, th I think you can already tell what this is going to be. And here we go, it is slowly starting to... Open. I probably, I probably should open this before I start recording. Is that, is that a good idea? I don't know. I don't. I don't really know how unboxings are meant to work. Okay. I don't know how this is meant to go. It's okay. I'm probably gonna have to blame my address. That's on the other side of this box. Um. I hope. I hope. I hope. I hope, I hope that doesn't show up in the recording. All right. Well, let me just uh, take this out of the box and get this big box off the table. I'm also sorry if you can hear a bit of reverb. Um. I can't really do much about that. I'm, I'm in my living room. I didn't have enough space in my own room myself. So we're doing it here, and also for the chair because we have some squeaky ass chairs. So yeah, uh, here we go. Uh, that's a well, that's a little teaser right now. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited! Ah, uh, I'll get I'll get a lot more into like what this is this, this even is uh, when I actually open it. Okay, and here we go. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the Jurassic Park Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, Prime T uh, one out of thirty eight skier Prime collectible. Now this is from Prime on Studios, and Prime on Studios make excellent figures. They make, honestly, some of the best like Jurassic Park figures I've ever seen. Most of which I can't afford because if I show a quick image here, yeah, they're very expensive. I've spared no expense. Like a thousand pounds, and this one was only about a hundred, which I honestly thought was stale, and I could not resist. And yeah, honestly, let, let's just open this. I'm so excited. Uh, I've also got some other Jurassic Park toys here just um, in front of me right now that I'm going to use to compare. Uh, obviously, this isn't a toy, but uh, I kind of just wanted to show off Jurassic Park toys. I've only got about three, but I mean, why not? Why not? This is just going to be a Jurassic Park extravaganza. So as you can see, yeah, the box is just, oh, the box is lovely. Oh, you can even, yeah, you can actually see the, what the figure on the side here. I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm going to keep this box. This box is just lovely. Oh my god, right, let's just, I, I need to open this anyway, so, alright, let's see, once again, I've never done an unboxing before, so apologies if this is, like, so unprofessional, I don't know how these things are meant to work, ah, well, I decided I'd do one myself, because, I mean, you guys love Jurassic Park, I love Jurassic Park, I got a Jurassic Park thing, so, why not? And there's more bloody sellotape, okay, I'll be back in a sec, okay, there we go, I'm just gonna put the box on the grinder, I'm definitely not throwing that one out, definitely not throwing that out. So yeah, let's have a look at, oh my god, oh, it already looks beautiful, oh, oh it looks, okay, I need, I need to get some scissors, well, I put this, so, oh. so yeah, guys, uh, yeah, actually, I forgot to say, just thank you for, like, 9,000 subscribers, and that is just, honestly, every day I look at my channel, and, and I'm just like, I never thought I would reach, like, 100, or 1,000, or even, like, any, any milestone that was above 50, I never thought I was gonna reach, so just thank you guys so much again, even if you, all of you have came from that one video, I thank you. I thank you. Oh, and there we go. Okay, I've just been careful not to break anything. Oh, okay, so let's take this out. Oh, oh, it already looks beautiful. And yeah, there's a little stand underneath, but let's have a look at the model first. Oh, I think you either go. Little wrapping. There we go. It's actually a lot bigger than I expected. Whoa. Okay, and then we take. I don't know what this is for. Oh my god, this looks beautiful. So I'm gonna put it up close, hopefully the, uh, I can't see the camera like the screen, so hopefully it focuses, I'm sorry if it doesn't. But look at that. Oh, yeah, so I'm, I think this, this is based off Rexy from like, you know, the first movie. And oh my God, I just, oh, this is beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so let's go get the stand out. I'm gonna place you very carefully down there. There we go. So yeah, like I said, Prime One Studios, they make tons of Jurassic Park figures, most of which I'm never gonna be able to afford in my life, unfortunately. Uh, I've thrown up a few uh, photos here whilst I get this out. Uh, so they do stuff like, um, Rex, and, uh, 
kit and a Spinosaurus and they even have the T-Rex when it throws the raptors at the skeleton in the first movie and then the banner falls down and the camera is really up and all that and uh, I'm trying to see where the... ah there I was very worried I thought they forgot my stand but it looks like they haven't so that's good that's always good they kind of hid the stand I won't lie they... Jesus Christ <laughs> they kind of hid the stand underneath the um the protection thing there, I couldn't even find it. Um, even the stand looks beautiful. Okay, let's take this out. Uh, here we go. And, ooh. Oh, lovely. I mean, it's basic. Oh, that is so... Oh, that, um, oh, that's... Oh, it's, it's in the shape of the island of Isla Nublar, if I throw my picture. It's in the shape of Isla... Oh, that is so cool. And you, you've even got the nice little Jurassic Park logo there in... I don't know what bronze or gold. I, I, I don't know what this. So yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's put this guy together. Let me get all this away, actually. And it probably looks like a club at this place. And here we go. So yeah, let's finally put this guy on his style. I, I should say girl, because you know, Lexi is a female. Okay, so I think this man is going... Okay, which way does this go? Okay, I think it goes... Hmm. Okay, this is going to be... Oh, okay, so I think... Okay, you go on there. One second, I will get this. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing wrong here, um, because it seems like this doesn't line up. Um, unless you're just supposed to have one in and then, so you could get like different dynamic poses. It looks like that's the case because I cannot fit both of these feet on the same hole. Um, I hope this isn't an error because, ooh, that would be, that would be bad. Um, yeah, so this goes in. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I looked up a video and uh, from the other guy's video, this thing just pit fits on perfectly, basically. So I'm not sure what's going on with my one. It seems like the feet do not match up to uh, the connecting thing, but I could still stand it. Like if I put it on now, uh, let me, if I can put this one on, yeah, yeah, there we go. I can still kind of, yeah, it still stands and still looks like a badass, but. Unfortunately, it does not stand on the other one because the other feet will not line up basically with the other one. I can live with it. I can live with it at least. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is the T Rex from Prime One Studios. Oh my, this thing looks just so. I, I'm I'm I, I'm sorry. It just looks so cool. But it it is quite annoying that um, I did get sent one that doesn't line up with the feet. Um, I hope I didn't get like a different model or something like that. Um, I don't know. Yeah, let me get a nice little close up there. And there it is, looking absolutely magnificent. I'm wondering, is the other feet better on than the other one? Let's check. Uh, kinda. It kinda does, I guess. Um, oh, oh, I hope you can see this. I'm sorry if you can't. Uh, yeah, I guess that looks, that's all right. I can live with that. As long as it doesn't, you know, um, you know, somehow like bend or break. Um, I, I think I'm fine with that. I can, and I can always kind of like drill a hole, I guess, to make it fit. Um, it's probably not the safest thing to do, but oh well. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, that was the Jurassic Park uh, T-Rex scale figure from Prime One Studios. Um, yeah, uh, sponsor me, I will happily review your products. So let's move on to uh, just a little bonus segment, basically. Uh, I'm going to be showing you some of my old Jurassic Park toys. Now, most of these are actually from Jurassic Park 3, I think. I don't know why I got them. My brother got them when he was younger. Uh, so yeah, let's just have a little look at these. So this is the Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus, obviously. And, and you know, as you can see, it is a bit old. Uh, as you can see, I think the yeah, the uh, color has went a bit yellow. Um, that's just because of getting old and you know white usually bleaches. Um, happens to a lot of like SNESs and stuff. And I'm guessing the same thing happened here, unfortunately. And as you can see, yeah, all these dinosaurs have battle scars. And I'll get to my opinion on battle scars in a moment. Uh, good thing is, um, the good thing is, can I get this guy to stand? Hmm. What do I get him to stand beside the T? Oh, just it's just it's just like the movie, isn't it? It's just like the movie. I hope you can see that. I I'm, I'm thinking you can see that. Okay, and this is the I think, yeah yeah. And this is the Jurassic Park three Triceratops. Now Triceratops wasn't even in Jurassic Park three, really enough. It wasn't even in the movie. Um, at least it, it might have been in the overhead shot when uh, Alan. Oops. When Alan Grant is like flying over seeing the dinosaurs, it might have been in that. But from what I saw. I uh, I don't think he's in, and yeah, as you can see, Battle Skull, and I'll get to that in a moment. So, let's put you down there, 
Finally, we have the Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor. Now, this guy actually has an interactable thing. If you press the button, he does that. It's, I, I, I don't know what, what the purpose is. I guess it's cool. Uh, so this guy, again, the, uh, the, just the figure itself, like the design, wasn't in the movie. Um, and it's a very cool, I honestly wish it was in the movie, because it is a very cool design. And yeah, these guys also, they all, all of them used to make sound, but they ran out of batteries, obviously, and I don't know how they really replace them. I don't know what batteries, batteries they would take. Um, so yeah, all these guys have little buttons, and they would, oh, this guy actually does, uh, wait, can you actually? There should be a little thing you can do, and I think it, like, no, maybe it doesn't. I thought something, like, moved his head, but I guess it doesn't. And then this guy, yeah, um, he's also got like a little interactive thing, but it's not working. So yeah, moving on to like my opinion on battle scores, I think it's awful. I, I, I think it's absolutely awful battle scores. I think they look ugly, and it would be okay if there was a way to cover them up. Some Jurassic Park toys did have cover up battle scores, and I understand why they have battle scores. You know, when kids are fighting with them, you know, they're attacking each other, obviously, they will have battle scores. But, obviously, but for some reason they just decided, yeah, let's just have them out in the open. And it just looks ugly. I, I think I, I think it just looks, this this one especially in the Triceratops, that, it, that just looks awful. I don't want to see that one I'm playing. I think, I don't know. So yeah, that's all the Jurassic Park toys I actually have. Um, The figures at least. I have I have tons of Funko Pops upstairs and, you know, collectibles and all that. Uh, which I'll show pictures of here. But yeah, this is going to be my latest to the collection. Um, again, it is unfortunate that I got sent one that doesn't line up with the feet. But I can live with it. I have one who just doesn't really complain. And yeah, I think this looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Let me just get a, a nice little close-up close shot for the thumbnail. I don't know if I'll use it for the thumbnail. So yeah, guys, that is going to be my 9,000 subscriber special. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I know it's a bit different, um, but I, that's what I like to do for these subscriber specials. I like to do stuff that's different. And yeah, we're, um, we're finally on the road to 10K. We're almost there. We are almost at 10K. And honestly, I, I still cannot believe it. Every day, I like I said, I go online, look at my channel, and I see that I'm also 10k, and it does make me quite happy. It, it, it just it fills me with so much joy that you guys enjoy me and enjoy what I make. Um, I, I'm not some of you at least, and yeah, and you get you all watch my videos, and you know I don't even make a cent from YouTube. I don't make any money because little me when I was younger decided that oh yeah, it would be a perfect idea to try and do it when I was like 14 and mess up the uh, AdSense by trying to link it to an American account. How I did that, I still don't know to this day. And uh, yeah, I so basically I don't make it sense for YouTube, but I just do it for fun. I love showing what I love and all my hobbies and uh, that's just, YouTube is just the best way of doing that. And I feel like that's what YouTube is all about. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching again. And yeah, uh, once again, thank you all for 9,000 subscribers and I will see you all in the next video. Well, hopefully we'll be finishing off Jurassic Park the game and then the Godzilla video I'm working on still. It's taking a while just because it's Godzilla. <laughs> they always take a while. And if you guys want more videos like this, um, I have tons of Godzilla figures upstairs that I recently got um, that I could, you know, review and look at and show you guys. If you would like that, I will more than oblige to do that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.